this toast cost me like 20 cents. But at restaurants, they'll charge you like Okay, so for the cook on the livers, we're gonna start off with half a yellow onion, julienne that up. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the shallot. For the pound of chicken livers, I just soaked them in the fridge overnight in some milk. A lot of people wonder why we do this. The reason is the lactic acid in the milk helps to break that down and it makes it a much smoother product. So strain that out of the milk and then we'll begin the cooking process. Okay guys, so for the cook on the chicken liver, we're gonna do some canola oil down on a really hot pan, toss in the shallots and onions, cook those off, and then just sweat them a bit. Once you've got some good color on those onions, we're gonna go ahead and toss those aside in a separate bowl or vessel, whatever you have. And then after that point, we're gonna go ahead and toss in the chicken livers, really hot as well, and then you're gonna go ahead and add in the pink salt. For the one pound of chicken livers, I did about a quarter of a teaspoon or about one gram, sprinkle that in and cook that off on high heat. Toss those into the same bowl as the onions and the shallots once they're cooked. Once you've got color on your chicken livers, you're gonna deglaze with some bourbon. I use bourbon, you can also use cherry brandy, which is the classic. I did about a quarter cup of this. Also, mind you, if you're using an electric stove, you wanna go ahead and set that off with a match or a lighter or something just to cook off that alcohol. Then toss them into a blender. I used this lemonade thyme in there. I did about a tablespoon and a half. Blended it until fine. And then I added in cold butter just to emulsify it. I did about half a stick, but I usually eyeball it. Then just pass that through a fine strainer into a container, cover that with some parchment paper, and then. Now we're just gonna go ahead and cool this off in the fridge for about four to five hours, preferably overnight. Okay, now for the mustard, for the mustard seeds, I've got the brown, I've got the regular. We're gonna cook them off. We need to soften up that outer hole, right? So I'm gonna cook them off for about seven to eight minutes, bring them to a simmer, and then keep simmering for about seven to eight minutes. Then we're just gonna strain them off, rinse them, put them in a separate container, and there you go. We've got our mustard seeds ready to go. Beautiful little plums. So this is what I'm gonna use for my mustarda. You can use uh, grapes, you can use peaches, that might be tasty too, some nectarines, apriums, apricots. I'm gonna use plums. This is gonna be really good, so I'm gonna walk you through this process. So just go ahead and toss in your rice wine vinegar into the pot. And then for some spice, we're gonna use some of this red tuxedo. It's this really delicious cayenne salt mix. Tuxedo is basically a salt and pepper blend. They call it tuxedo because it's fancy, it's dressed up. I did about a tablespoon and a half of that into the pot and then about three tablespoons of honey. Bring that up to a simmer and then of course taste it. Make sure it needs anything like any more salt, pepper, whatever turn off the heat, remove it from the heat. And then we're just gonna go ahead in a separate bowl, add in the plums, I did about half a pound. And then I just threw in three tablespoons of the mustard seed, mix that up, add in the liquid until you have enough to cover. Toss that into the fridge and let it chill. Here's some homemade sourdough.
And there you have it y'all. Chicken liver mousse on beautiful sourdough bread. I've got the recipe for the sourdough bread on my channel, on Spiceology channel as well. Go check that out. It's really easy to make, delicious. Look at that, gorgeous, super smooth chicken liver mousse. Finish with some of this red tuxedo for a little bit of that spice. A little bit of flaky salt at the end there. I'm gonna try that. Mmm, okay. Yo, delicious. Make that, make a bunch of that. Get pounds and pounds of chicken liver. If you're a vegetarian, try this out with mushrooms or tofu or something. Blend it the same way. Probably still be delicious, but damn. Mmm. Chicken liver is one of my favorite things. Thing is too, they're so cheap, so simple. Chicken livers are going for like, what are they going for? Shoot, they're going for like a dollar thirty a pound. I don't even remember what I bought them for. A dollar thirty a pound. So basically this piece of toast is probably like 20 cents worth of chicken liver mousse. Super cheap. Definitely worth going out and buying because at restaurants, they'll serve about $30 for this piece of toast. Thank you so much for watching the video. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe and hit that bell if you're new here. Go ahead and tag Spiceology and me and all the things you create on Insta, we'll repost it, and I'll see you in the next one.